All right, um, this is going to be a review, kind of a re-review. This is a review of the revision of the Retron 5, the 1.0 revision, hardware revision. Um, there's not much gonna, that in this video that's going to not apply to the older version of the console, so basically most of what is here is exactly the same except for it seems like they have adjusted the controller they fixed an issue uh, here's the old controller where you had this squeaky kind of annoying sound so that's the controller that's really all they did with that uh, let me see if there's actually a well actually this is it's on here this is actually flipped. The sticker's flipped. Whatever. Nothing major. And yeah, this is GR and BK. So, whatever. So that's basically all that's up with the controller. So, there you go. Uh, I did a video showing the console por ports being better. Um, so they're they're not really, they don't have the death grip issue, uh, and they don't make those weird crunchy noises when you pop a game in and pull it out. That's another difference, so the console ports seem to work all right. Um, also, on the back, you'll see that there is no more reset um, thing there, like on this here. There is a reset button that they told you never to press uh, right here. So basically they put a reset button and said don't press it. You, you know, it's like the self-destruct button or something. So they don't have that anymore. So they removed that. And also there is more internal storage on here. Uh, it's a little over three gigs of internal storage. Um, and it seems to read games better. But there's like one game I have that all of a sudden this won't read, and the other one did, which I don't know. But every other game I have no problem, no problems with read. I don't have to put it in a thousand times to get certain games to read anymore. So that's working fine. It's just there's like Road Rash for some reason doesn't want to read, and it read on the old one. So don't know about that. Whatever. Um, and of course there are have been software updates since a lot of reviews that you'll see online that have fixed any problems a lot of you know like a lot of people mention the lock-on carts not working that is that was fixed ages ago lock-on carts work um, yeah and then there's of course the IPS patches and all that that you can use so you can kinda have um, homebrew games working and you know just patches for games to fix bugs and things like that um, there's a patch for the sound on Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition on the Sega Genesis. It kind of, um, almost, it, it fixes the sound, but it doesn't kind of, it's like, it's not perfect, but it definitely is miles better than the original cart playing on a Sega Genesis. Um... You know, there's things like the Mortal Kombat 2 patch that adds a lot of the voices. Uh, that adds a lot of extra stuff uh, to Mortal Kombat 2 that wasn't uh, that was stripped from the original game. Well, it wasn't really stripped. It was was never there. Um, and then there there was an update that added uh, Game Boy Advance cheats. So you download the update, update the console, and then you have to download the new cheat database. And put it on the SD card, and then you get Game Boy Advance cheats. Uh, there's you know color, you know palettes for Game Boy games that don't have color, um, things like that. Uh, and really, that that's that all that stuff applies to the old console as well. All the software updates that all applies to the old console. I just wanted to point it out because a lot of the reviews state that these things don't work and you know the old, and a lot of I said this in my last video 
A lot of reviews also state that you need this controller because you have to use it to access the home or the, the menus and all that. And that's not true. Uh, there are there are hotkeys, uh, you know, like button combos on the original controllers like the Sega Genesis 6 button or the Super Nintendo controller or whatever. Um, like, I think it's up and start accesses the home menu in the game and then you can map hotkeys to button combinations so you know I normally use like forward and mode on the six button controller to fast forward and you know down in mode to save states and up and you know up and uh, left in mode to uh, load a state and there's different things you can do like that um, so you don't need this controller you can really get rid of it if you don't want it uh, you may want to keep it just you know if you plan on selling this console ever it would be nice to have a more complete console but if you really want to you can take the controller for functionality you can take this thing and throw it out um, so really that's I think the whole thing that's the whole review it's not there's not much going on there not much different but uh, the cart ports being better and uh, the reset button not being present or at least being covered up and uh, I don't know if this is uh, oh you know what I don't think they really covered that up. That's a sticker. I believe you can take the sticker off and the reset button should be under the sticker. Let me see. And I am right. Actually, that's a sticker. And you can actually access the reset button. But they do tell you not to touch it before the console will explode. Get that sticker thing out of there, but there you go. I was wrong. Reset, but reset thing is right there. They just cover it with a sticker. I guess they don't want you fiddling with it because they think you're gonna make it explode. Like I said, all right, so I was wrong. <laughs> Great review, huh? Anyways, but yeah, as far as it goes, that's it. So we scratched that one off the list. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.